Guys, lot 704 was the Royal Meeting filly. Um, a really, really nice filly. She's um, super vobus, super vobus gold, all that eligible to be paid up for. Um, Royal Meeting, he's by the same sire as our best sire in the country in I Am Invincible, by that Invincible Spirit line. Uh, he was a Group 1 winner in Europe, and as you know, I'm right into my European sort of form, and I can tell you his turn of foot was just next level. He was a freak, that horse. So um, I, th- I don't think he he was completely sound his whole racing career, but having seen him up there in Europe, he was a really, really good horse. Um, in this instance, Mum was unraced, but the thing that's worth noting, and it's um, one that generally always pays off, You'll notice it's a really big female family. There's a lot of female success in this pedigree. And it's just a quirky little thing that you do see in um, the thoroughbred. Oftentimes there can be a sex bias uh, thrown through the mare. They either throw really good colts or really good fillies. And this one is definitely more of a fillies family. Um, She had a really nice walk, excellent attitude. And one little test that I do is I always try and put my hand up under their gullet it's not the be all and end all but um i usually find the bigger that gullet the bigger um their airways and their air air intake is is so i'm always a little bit skeptical on those ones where you can only get two or three fingers in but i could get a whole hand in this one so i would dare say she's going to have a really good um aerobic capacity and the other thing that ties in with this filly she was in the top uh, 7% of the entire sale of best part of 1,300 horses on the biomechanics score. Um, that's a significant thing to point out. I, I think that to rank so highly in a catalogue that was probably the best Magic Millions catalogue we've seen for a long time um, is a really good sign. She's super vobus. She's Magic Millions. And... That Magic Millions bonus, I think, is is quite significant. In the coming years, Magic Millions is basically going to be a a two-weekend event and they're going to pay out prize money between 20 and 25 million. And gone are the days where it was just one or two races for the two-year-old or the three-year-old and everything else is a um, sort of almost like an undercard. Now they've got races there... Uh, a $500,000 country-only race. Not that we want to end up in the country, but I can tell you having won it, it's a, it's a good feeling. But um, there's a million-dollar race almost for every type of horse. And the, given the fact that um, she's going to be eligible that for that for the rest of her life, I think it's a really good thing. She was very clean on x-rays, good scope, um, nice, sound, tough horse by the look of it. And what I find always very promising that's happened in the past, when you buy these horses and then all of a sudden the stable staff start to ring up that have had something to do with this horse and they want to buy in, gee, I th- that's always been a really good indicator. Um, the amount of times that that's happened and those horses have gone on and been good, tough, sound horses, it's phenomenal. So... Now, they're going to be uh, Mick Price, Mick Ken, obviously everyone knows them. Mick Price is as honest as the day is long, very forthright with his opinions, won't muck around if if the horses are no good. At the same time, um, I think with the injection of Mick Kent Jr. there, they're doing a few things differently and, and you can really tell with their results on the track. So, look, for not a lot of money, um, really high biomechanics score, I think um, she ticked quite a few boxes and uh, she's a nice easy one that you could buy in with given all that um, m- money that can be won down there with the Vobus and then obviously coming back up for the Magic Millions Carnival. So um, a great one for those that are based sort of there in Victoria.